Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. And for today's video, I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this. So this is a box of Charm July premium box. So the reason why I wasn't expecting it, because it came super fast. I mean, before the base box, because they told me that the premium box, they're going to get shipped through a different warehouse. So I was asking about the tracking number because I like keeping track of my packages. It's also because I'm going to be moving in about two weeks. And yeah, it's just a concern. <laughs> This box is gifted to me by Box Charm. I did open the box just to see if it was a premium box because I was thinking this is not a base box because I was trying to look at the tracking number and they were not the same. I received a tracking number for the base box. So that box, I should receive it tomorrow. Hopefully, it's in my state. It's like the next stop, basically. So ah, my nose is a little runny. So I just peeked inside just to confirm the color of the box. It's blue. So I just went ahead and got ready and yeah, I've been kind of busy. Like. I've been keeping myself busy with doing a lot of TikToks, so I haven't had a chance to do another tutorial if you guys haven't checked it out, but before I mention anything, let's start with the theme. The theme for this month is Status OO. I think it's out of office, I think if I remember right. Oh, I like the design. I love blue and pink combos. Right here, there's a, like a list of items you receive with the retail value and the variation number. The variation number, I believe, is 13, and I did weigh the box. I think it was almost four pounds. It was like three pounds and something in ounces. So it was very close to four pounds, so it was pretty heavy. And the first thing I want to show you guys is this. So I already have one of these because I did an eye look tutorial of this palette. So I'm really happy to have an extra one because it'll be a really nice gift, you guys. This is like very expensive. So this is the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Eyeshadow Palette and retails for $40. So from Lunar Beauty, guys. Lunar Beauty by Manny MUA. Ooh. So I have the palette ready. I have done two looks so far. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys my palette. So this has already been used. I already used it like twice. I already swatched it like about three times already, like the whole swatches. So this is a packaging of the palette. I almost dropped it. Oh, cherry blossoms, so beautiful, right? Mm. And this is a neutral lovers palette. So me, me, do I love neutrals? I think neutrals are okay. I prefer color, but this is a great neutral palette. Like it's beautiful. Like the shimmers are very, very stunning. Like they are oh, my type of shimmers. And the mattes, you get a good range of warm and some cool toned browns. And these three shades, I will mention when I, like the second time or even the third time I swatched it, I noticed every time that these swatched differently compared to the other ones. I think this one was like, this one's very light, I would say. So you would have to like build up the color because that's a one shade I was like really into the first time I used this palette. But the three, Shades right here, these are very dark shades. I think they're like a little bit just slightly dry. But overall, I really love this palette. I've already done two looks and I am still planning to do a third look to do a nighttime look. So be on the lookout for that. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna just show you guys the swatches. The swatches are nice. The mattes were all double swatched and the shimmers were just swatched once. So very beautiful palette. And I'm so happy for you guys, seriously, because I bought this at full price when it first launched. And then around that time, Box of Charm hinted that on their story, they didn't hint it was going to be in a box, but they showed it on their story. Like, why would they show that? Are they hinting that it's going to be in the future box? And I still went ahead and bought the collection because I wanted to have it and just to review it also. And because it's so beautiful, like, I needed that neutral palette, like, in my collection. And it's actually one of my favorite ones, even though I haven't used it so many times. But still, it's, like, such a, what you call it, it's a staple palette, basically. So this is by the Stone Street Soap House. It's a Geranimo Wholesome Body Cream. Retails for $32. So I believe this is one of the choice items, but I'm not able to customize box, of course. But I just know because I have a spoiler page as well. But you guys, ooh, this doesn't come sealed. I'm really surprised. Oh my gosh, this is very scented. So let's smell, like read a little bit about this. With the heart of geranium flower oil. Geranimo is a little floral, a little herbal, and a very Moorish natural oils including jojoba, argan, and almond. Nourish the skin without making it greasy. Free from colors and paraffins. Cruelty free, made in England. When 100% responsibility source natural oils. So this is very heavily scented, guys. Like it looks like it's kind of lightweight. I'll try to show you guys. It looks like that. But there's no there's no lid unless the lid got stuck. That could be the the little lid. I think it might be actually. No, it's not. So there's no lid to this. So let me just sample it. It's pretty like thin, like milky. Yeah, it's very, it's very lightweight. Oh yeah, I can feel that it kind of absorbs to your body really well. It's very thin, but it's very fragrant. So it smells, oh, 
yeah like very like essential oils yeah it's very like perfumey so if you're very sensitive to scents and you won't like this of course but it smells like like a summer scent summer spring scent i'm horrible with scents you guys but mm. like it does smell like florish but not like super girly it smells like very strong actually it reminds me of a shampoo it smells like a shampoo to me almost like a or a body like a body wash like it's that strong so oh if you want to smell good this will probably be good for your body <laughs> it, this is the ultra best buzz shampoo and conditioner duo and retails for 66 dollars so i've seen this in the um, past from boxycharm i think they featured this in the lex box i'm not sure i it's because yeah i get confused between the boxes sometimes when i do the spoilers like yeah, sometimes um, I can't just keep up. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a pretty good size. It's about probably a little bit bigger than the Olaplex shampoos and conditioner. And it has CBD too, so I've never tried anything like CBD shampoo or conditioner. It says this daily dual repairs and hydrates stressed out strands with the natural ingredients like jojoba, palbab, and avocado, while the anti-inflammatory benefits of CBD oil nourish and soothe your skull. It's great for all hair types too, tames frizz, protect your hair color, and adds lustrous shine so if you guys try this let me know what you guys think about it i will for sure try it out in my next shower i will try it out because i've been using drugstore shampoo guys but the reason why is because my blondes are practically like gone so i don't really take like great great care of my hair like it doesn't really need it it's almost like all my blondes is practically gone so the drugstore shampoo i've been using it's by l'oreal and i've been using the volumizing one <laughs> Like the purple one so that one smells good it kind of lathers well it's it's okay it doesn't seem like it dries my hair so i'll try this out and hopefully i can let you guys know how it's like Let's move on to the next item so right here is the next item so this is by about skincare blue volcanic stone purifying antioxidant cleansing gel and it retails for 110 dollars so Avant skincare i'm not really a big fan of Avant because i feel like they're like a private label which i don't like um, like they're just a brand I see in sub boxes just to up the retail price of the boxes you know and let's see it says it's a mild non-drying gel this aims to effortlessly eliminate eliminate excess oils trigger dirt and makeup without leaving the skin feeling ex overexposed with a cocktail of antibacterial anti-inflammatory and antioxidant strand it helps prevent breakouts and suit irritation the perfect first step in your skincare regimen it sounds good but and the color is pretty cool too it looks like this it looks like gel for your hair almost it's like it really does i like the color i'm not sure if i'll use it so i'll just put this aside i'm just kind of iffy with that brown that's why personally so the next item i see is by rodeo's a glass primer and i actually have this in my collection already so this is retails for 39 dollars and actually do i have it i feel like i have it hmm I feel like I have this. Or maybe I just confuse it with the spoilers because Ipsy and Boxer and it was an Ipsy too. So let me see. So yeah, it is pretty small. So I will finish it pretty fast if I Yeah, so I'll pretty much finish it pretty fast if I use it a lot. But let's see how it's like. It helps lock in moisture, calm redness, and inflammation and provides a smooth canvas for a long-lasting makeup. So let's do a little swatch on the other hand. Well, so it comes out like in this consistency. Ooh, I'm not sure if that's silicone base. Hopefully not. Usually I don't like silicone based primers. Hmm, yeah, it kind of, there's a scent to it. So I'm trying to rub it in because I feel a lot. But it, it, it provides like a nice base. Like it kind of, yeah, it provides a nice base. It reminds me of a silicone base. I'm going to look it up if it is silicone base because if it is then it's gonna mess up with a lot of my foundation combos because i think most of my foundations are water based so that's why so there's like a good slight tackiness like not too much like it really like mattifies the face with a slight shine so it's like in between but yeah i gotta test that primer out how it's like and for the last item it's by almost said the wrong brand it's by Ico. it's a black magic cocoa edit liquid eyeliner and it retails for 22 dollars you guys this eyeliner i'm not going to test this one out specifically but i will save it for the future because i already have two so this is the brown one because i already have a sample size from ipsy i got the black one and the 
brown one and they're my favorite eyeliner right now so one of them the eyeliner i have i use the eye cool black liner so it's really easy because it's super thin so i will save this i love this eyeliner so much so i'm happy to have this in the full size it is brown so i won't get to use it that often but if it was black it would have been better but let me get the one i went ahead and found my mini eyeliner for my eco and i can show you guys the size comparisons it's not that much bigger see look at that the mini and then right there's a the full size so so it's super thin guys look at the point of it so you could control it like really i use it to pretty much outline like my triangle shape of uh, eyeliner sorry i'm trying to do it well yeah it's pretty thin so let me do better lines because yeah so right here's the lines <laughs> it's really thin though so it makes it easy so basically how i use this eyeliner i just do the shape of the how the eyeliner i want to do and then i just fill it in it's so easy it is like almost like a felt tip i believe because it's really flexible but it's like so small and straight enough to really control it so this is like one of my favorite eyeliners so i'm really happy to have it in full size that's basically it that i received in the premium box so let me just share my quick thoughts about it and so for $40 plus tax, this will be like around $43 or so, right? Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm not subscribed to BoxCharm. Not like out of my choice it's because I have to save some money. Uh, but I do miss having it, like being able to pick my own items for, for my boxes. So I miss having it. But let's say this was a box I paid for. So let's be uh, like very, very honest about this. I, I'm not excited about this. So this it's a primer i get a lot of primers but i don't mind because i actually use them so this will be interesting to try out and this body cream i was kind of interested about it based on the spoilers like it's not something i needed like i have so much body care that i have to go through like i don't use enough body care like body cream on my body and this is very fragrant so i'm not sure if i'll get used to the smell i don't think i will i'll try to you could also like kind of mix it with the netter lotion that doesn't have a scent to make it more calm down that scent and this shampoo and conditioner i'm actually really excited for because i want to try it in my next shower so i just took a shower today so i have to wait usually i take a shower every other day now that my blondes are gone like i don't need to do the shower once a, once a week anymore i used to do that so now i just take a shower every other day or every two days now so can't wait to try this and then the next item of course the eyeliner normally i'm not like super excited about eyeliners but this is an eyeliner i really really love so i'm happy to have this so that's two items i really love so far and then of course oh the palette is oh i'm so happy that every box of charm premium I get this of course while supplies last because they do have a supply so if too many members like sign up for premium they'll probably end up like getting out of stock you know and then they'll just send you like a fan favorite premium box probably but i'm really happy like i mean i would i mean i'm already happy that i already have this but i say if i didn't have this palette of course i'll be very ecstatic for like yes i finally got this palette right basically i like half the items like mainly three items so three i'll probably rate it three out of five it's pretty much an average variation to me i was really excited to get the premium box i am so like so grateful so thank you box charm like it's always but i always love sharing my honest opinions of course but yeah i'm really happy for you guys for all you premium members receiving the lunar the lunar nude prism lunar beauty nude prism palette it's like really really good one Ugh, like i'm so excited for you guys you guys have no idea but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video this unboxing so let me know what you guys receiving your premium box i'm really hoping that you guys receive a better variation of this of course thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys all so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys